Okay, so what we're going to do now is abstract the ability to um, redirect to user with the, the standard header function in PHP. We're also going to build in a little extra functionality as well. And this is going to be um, redirecting to um, um, a 404 error to actually generate a real 404 error and then include a custom 404 message. Now we're eventually going to use this in the profile functionality if, if a user's profile doesn't exist. But we'll build this functionality in and create an example so we can see how this will end up looking. And the main thing we want to do here is remove the uh, need to use the header function and pass this string like this um, into this function. So let's go ahead and, and define how we want to redirect. Um, and the way that we want to redirect is we want to basically just say redirect to somewhere. And in this case, I'm just going to say index.php. So we're defining the file or the path that we want to redirect to. This can be anywhere. It can even be an external page, google.com or something like that. So now what we're going to do is actually start to build the redirect uh, class. It's not too tricky at all. Um, there's a little bit more functionality than you would normally, f you know, that you think. Uh, but we only have one static method in here. So we have a public static function two, and this has a location, and by default that's null. So we're going to in here check if the location has been defined. Um, if it has, let's just go ahead and header location two, the location, and we'll then exit. OK, that's it. Um, we'll introduce an additional check in here in a moment, but let's just check whether this works or not by registering another user. So I'm going to choose a username, enter password and enter a, a name here and register. And we've been direct, redirected to index.php as we've seen previously. So we've abstracted that and that just makes it a little bit easier. The, the functionality um, that we've created just looks a little bit nicer. Redirect to index.php sort of reads like a sentence. Now in here, we're going to give the ability to um, pass in a error. So 404, for example, and we're going to include um, a template uh, which we can find in here so includes errors 404 which we have open include a template to be displayed as a 404 error so we're dealing now with custom 404 messages so what we're going to do is this doesn't make sense but for now if a user registers successfully we're going to redirect to an error page let's go ahead and modify our redirect functionality so instead of redirecting to 404.php we're basically just going to um, keep out on the same page. So we're going to stay on the register.php page. We're going to set the HTTP headers to 404 not found. We're going to include the error file and exit. So if is numeric, so making use of the PHP is numeric function. So if is numeric location, because if we're direct redirect into a path, this is never going to be numeric. Um, we then have uh, a case 404 and break. Um, we could add a, a default in here, but let's ignore that for now. So case 404. Um, oh, sorry. We obviously need to switch and um, we're going to switch the location. So case 404. Well, what do we want to do here? Well, if if we've been defined with 404, and the reason again that we're doing this is you might, uh, for example, uh, decide to include other uh, error codes in here uh, as well. But for 404, what we want to do is we want to set using the header function, uh, we want to set an HTTP 1.0 404 not found error. Then what we want to do is include a custom template, which will be includes errors. 404.php and we'll exit. Okay, simple as that. So now what we're going to expect is when we register a user, um, we're going to redirect to a 404. We're not actually redirecting anywhere, we're just forcing an error here. So um, if we go back to register.php and we register a new um, uh, a new user, so we've got uh, a few users in here already. Um, let's just say password, password and Shiva. At. So when we register now, um, oh, okay, uh, include, oh, sorry, includes. So let's just change that includes 
errors 404 perfect let's just refresh there um, so we've already registered this now so let's go ahead and register a new user so register so that's now redirected to register.php but we've actually generated a 404 error so that's generated a 404 error in the browser. So all we need to do now in here is generate or, or say something like, oops, that page can't be found. OK, so um, you could do this with errors as well. If there's some kind of error, you could generate a 502 or, or you know, whatever you want to do, really, um, in terms of your application. Um, let's again just say um, bill password, password and bill carrot register oops that page can't be found so we can use this later on um, we don't need to use it in this instance uh, in fact all we need to do is re uh, redirect to index.php but we've now built that class so we can we can make use of this at some other point so if a user's profile can't be found we can redirect to a, a 404 error um, so that's our redirect class all built and ready to go